Nvidia's supreme CPU domination continues. The next big Windows update isn't for you and, oh, GPU's about to be delayed and expensive and AI's causing a problem. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news they can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast. This Monday, November 10th, 2025, we're gonna start off today with a reminder that this coming Friday is the PC giveaway drawing for our Twitch streams, where we have an RTX 5090 PC being given away over twitch.tv forward slash UFD tech. And we have an RTX 5070 Ti PC being given away over on our twitch.tv forward slash UFD music stream. So as this goes live, you can come jump on over to Twitch, say hi to Reese and uh, ask about the giveaways because that will happen and we'll have more coming after that one, probably another 5090 PC on the UFD Tech channel. And additionally, we do have that YouTube stream for UFD music where we're giving away a 9070 XT, the Yestin Gravistar one. That drawing's not this Friday, but for the big PCs, those will happen this Friday and then we'll announce the new giveaways once that's over. So come join us over on Twitch in case you're interested in that. And you you may be interested to learn that the 9700 X3D that we discussed in last week's episode of Hot News appears to have been fake. This is according to a Reddit post where people said that they spoofed the information on Linux making it look like there was a 9700 X3D when in reality there is no such chip and it was just them screwing around with the benchmark. This happens to align with kind of all the information we already have which I commented when I was discussing it that it would be a very weird move because AMD would be putting it in a weird position against the 9850X3D, which is what we're expecting to come out. And so having two chips that are so close together would make it kind of weird. And it turns out, yeah, they're not doing that. The 9850X3D is still expected as well as the 9950X3D2 are supposed to be dropping. But the current X3D chips are selling like flapjacks, hotcakes, whatever you want to call them, because according to at least one report, who documents Amazon's CPU retail sales, AMD's X3D CPUs are outselling Intel altogether. So according to at least this tracker, Intel only sold roughly 10,000 units. And when you tabulate the 9800X3D and 7800X3D, they account for over 10,000 units by themselves and AMD accounting for 82% of the revenue. But just as we're trying to talk about, you know, weird information, weird data, like we got with the 9700X3D, it is quite curious that there's only like one source out on the internet for Amazon CPU sales because Amazon closely guards all of this information. It's not quite clear where they get their sourcing, how they provide their information and why very few other outlets even try to claim these types of things. So take this with a massive grain of salt. Intel, even though they might not necessarily be making a ton of sense for gamers when you're looking at the 78 and 9800 X3D, if you're looking at 100 to $150 CPUs, Intel's ultra threes and i threes make a ton of sense and they're being sold quite a bit in terms of OEMs and desktop PCs, but you might not see those sales being reflected here. So even though this is a complete reversal of how things were a decade ago, where Intel was just absolutely dominating every single instance of CPU sales and AMD's FX series was just nowhere to be found, it's not actually quite that bad because the FX series really didn't have a place because Intel just the i3s, i5s, i7s, Pentium, Celerons, all that stuff made sense at every level of the market. Whereas AMD is choosing not to compete in the low end, so Intel still kind of has that. It's just kind of curious, um, and none of that's being super reflected in that data. So I'm I'm curious where that information comes from. Take it with a grain of salt. But if you are looking at getting an X3D chip, you know who you should check out today's video sponsor. All right, so you have your GPU, your CPU, your RAM, etc. But it's all in a pile. That ain't much of a PC like that, brother. You need something to keep it all together, like a motherboard from today's sponsor, ASRock. Now, this isn't just any motherboard. This is the X870E Tai Chi OCF, the top of the line, best of the best that ASRock has to offer. This AMD 9000 series ready motherboard rocks an onboard overclocking toolkit, dual USB 4 type C's, and dual blazing M.2 Gen 5 slots. The crazy part is ASRock didn't stop at these two Gen 5 slots. You get six total M.2 slots. So no more excuses about not having enough space on your PC for 120 gigabyte AAA games. The X870E Tai Chi OCF also delivers insane precision overclocking capabilities to go along with the integrated buttons, thanks to the optimal memory layout and one DPC design. ASRock also makes installing components super easy with their aptly named 
easy installation mechanisms for some M.2s and your PCIe slots so you don't have to fumble with your big beefy GPU. Build your PC around the best of the best with an X870E Taichi OCF motherboard from ASRock. Grab one for yourself by the link in the description below. Big thanks to ASRock for sponsoring. Well, I got bad news for you. If you choose to get that ASRock motherboard and stay on, you know, regular desktop chip, the next generation update for Windows 11 not going to be for you. The 26H1 update has been confirmed to not be for regular consumers, but rather is being developed for specific silicon, which is kind of intriguing. I can't remember another time where a major feature update like this has been exclusively reserved for not everybody. And the idea is that it's going to be for Qualcomm and Nvidia's next generation chips, the ARM processors. So this is going to be an update that mainly makes Windows better for Windows on ARM. At least according to the reports that are coming out right now. So that's an intriguing move by Windows. You know, uh, does that indicate why there have been so many bugs because they've been deprioritizing the x86 stuff in order to start moving on arm but uh, you know who, who knows how all of that's playing out behind the scenes and steam has gotten an update to be a little bit bigger a little bit wider in case you're interested in that making it so that steam works better on higher resolution displays has a more modern balance to uh supporting up to 1200 widened pixels and i just want to point out pc gamers image for this very very nice and they even specify where that wide Geralt comes from it's from a mod called finger licking Geraldo which you know what more power to them and more power to Reese for saving you money you're gonna need it we're gonna talk about why things are about to get really expensive in the PC building scene yo welcome back to Yifty Deals bringing the hottest tech deals out on the internet and hey here's your first deal with the Ugreen Steam Deck Dock which is going for only $29.98 making it $16.01 off but the next up we have the neat Bumblebee 2 USB condensed microphone for only $14.99 making it $85 off. Whoa! <laughs> the woe caught me off guard. <laughs> I broke me glasses again. And then lastly, we have the HyperX Quadcaster sRGB USB condensed microphone, one of my favorites, only $64.99, making it $95 off. And hey, with that, the deals are done. You can find these and more linked in the video description down below. But until next time, I'm handing you back to bread for the rest of your hot news. Cheers! It was him. Oh, well, Reese, hopefully you can find more sales on SSDs and hard drives in the weeks and months to come because according to reports, AI is now causing a shortage in hard drives, specifically in the enterprise high capacity ones, thanks to all of them being gobbled up for data centers. So the report also indicates that that means that these server companies are moving on to trying to find more affordable options, which include SSDs, specifically QLC SSDs, which tend to be amongst the most affordable. And if you want a regular hard drive, in the AI sector, you're going to have to wait about two years, allegedly, is how long the wait time is. But now companies moving on to just picking up QLC SSDs, which will likely also impact the consumer market, because if those get gobbled up, eaten, and caused to be more expensive, then you can by golly be sure that what you're going to stick in your computer is also going to get more expensive. And that applies to graphics cards now, too, because we've been talking about the RAM shortage. Now we're talking about a NAND shortage, and a part of that is VRAM that goes into GPU. So the 5060 Ti, allegedly, at least according to a well-known leaker, is going to hit a supply constraint sometime soon because of the two gigabyte modules that are being slapped onto the chip to make it 16 gigs as opposed to eight gigs. So allegedly, this is gonna cause a constraint, a bottleneck, but that's not the only bad GPU news that I've got because in case you've been waiting on the RTX 50 Super Series to drop, original rumors put it at the end of this year, then it kind of was like the first quarter of next year. And now reports are coming out that it might not even happen at all, but if it does, it's not going to be for quite a many moon because of exactly that, RAM shortage, the three gigabyte modules that are needed in order to make the super series to have things like the 18 gigabyte RTX 5070 Super or the 24 gigabyte RTX 5080 Super, those are being gobbled up by the AI chips and making it so that there is a shortage on those. And the rumor now is that they will be delayed at least until the third quarter of 2026. So having to wait nearly another year in order to get more VRAM out of NVIDIA. Now, this also would apply to the current setup that we have with the two gigabyte chips, if those are getting gobbled up because the three gigabyte chips are already out of stock in various different places, then it's going to make it so that NVIDIA's graphics cards might get a little bit more expensive and AMD might not be as impacted because they are using a generation older GDDR6, whereas NVIDIA chose to go with GDDR7. So we could see supply constraints already being talked about on the 5060 Ti. We're going to potentially see delays on the 50 Super Series and 
I wouldn't necessarily count out graphics cards getting more expensive, especially the newer ones from NVIDIA that are on the latest VRAM setup. So uh, buckle in for a very expensive time becoming a PC gamer yet again. Obviously I can't prognosticate how bad it's gonna get. Will it be like the crypto winter of 2021? Will it be more like the crypto winter of 2017, 2018? Or will this uh, all be fixed because there's so much money in AI that companies are just gonna ramp up and find a way to produce more so that they can increase the bottom lines. Who knows how it's gonna play out. I don't have that crystal mirror in front of me. And you won't have me in front of you anymore and this episode of hot news right there. I'll see you back here for more of the hot stuff news later this week.